Dr. Paul here. We've got a rash on the face with a little bit of swelling, I'm told. Let's go take a look. Hi. Hi. How you guys doing? You've got a little rash going on, huh? Do. Yeah, I think so. Did you notice on your face? It's feeling bumpy. Feels a little bumpy? Mm -hmm. Looks a little red. And has he had fever? Uh, no, he just felt a little warm, but I haven't okay. really noticed much of a fever. All righty. That ear looks pretty darn good. Let's swing around and look at this other one. Looks perfect. Let's see your throat. Big ah. Uh. Good job. Throat looks fine. Totally perfect. I do see redness on the cheek there. Kind of goes down to there. Hold that light there. for me, would you? Hold that light there. Do a little. Take it's a look. kind of bright red, but now it's starting to kind of like have a weird pattern on it. Yeah, it's a little bit lacy yeah. up around there and a little bit more on your cheek. Anything anywhere else? Hmm, right. actually, look at your, that's definitely a rash right there on your hand. Yeah, it's kind of going and you up see if I push on it, how it goes away? See that? Mm -hmm. it's, it's red or pink and then it goes white and then it comes back when I let go. That's called blanching. And a rash that blanches like that, here it does all everywhere, is almost always viral. I mean, I guess an allergic rash would also blanch, but when it's slightly irregular and a little bumpy like that, that's pretty typical for viral rashes. Anywhere else? Anything on your tummy? Mm -hmm. You gonna show us your six pack? Whoa, that's nice looking muscles there, buddy. All right, mine are just hidden. <laughs> I know they're there. All right. So does anything hurt? No. No? Just itching. Itches a little bit. I'm going to listen to your lungs. Take a big breath. Again. Again. And again. Perfect. So in case it was an allergic thing, we want to make sure your lungs are clear and they're perfectly clear. I'm not too worried about that. Is, does it hurt to swallow? No. Any trouble swallowing? No. No. Okay. Very good. Let's see your hands. They look perfect. We've been seeing a lot of uh, Coxsackie hand, foot, and mouth. And with that, sometimes you'll have little spots, but they're fine. I'm going to guess your feet are fine. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Well, you know what you have? I think you have Fifth's disease. I hate the term disease because it's not really a disease. It's just a little infection. It's a virus. And, you know, back in the old, old days, way before I was around, they had measles, mumps, rubella, rubiola, and then they had this. And like, oh, well, we had one, two, three, four. We'll call it fifth. <laughs> really clever of them. So anyway, it's a virus. It's harmless. He's probably no longer contagious at this point, so he can go to school. The rash can come and go for a week or two, maybe at the most three weeks. And, um, and the rash will spread, you think? It or might a little bit, but... You know, it's mostly you get that, they call it slap cheek appearance. Um, you know, it's pretty harmless, but I'm glad we were able to show folks what that looks like. Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. Do you have any fa any comments for your fans on YouTube, you know, in case you make it be a big YouTube star? No. no? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for sharing. So there you have it, folks, a straightforward case of uh, Fifth's disease. It's characteristic slap cheek appearance, and often you have a slightly lacy rash on the extremities, perhaps on the trunk. Pretty classic in appearance. And kids are not that sick with this illness. You don't feel too bad, do you? No. Nope. There we go. Just a little sniffly. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing with us, and thanks for coming in.